Yeah, being a hairdresser 43 years. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, I just become had become a little complacent in my um, career. I, I loved my clients, loved what I was doing, but didn't really think I was working up to my potential, you know. And, and I was, I, I, I would see the the girls. We have an awesome, awesome culture in our salon, and I would see these girls, you know going past me. And I'm like, what's going on here? I think um, I need to do something. <laughs> so they inspired me. And um, I also am uh, changing um, my hours a little bit. I'm going down to part time. And so I knew I had to work smarter and not harder. I went and talked, had a little talk with Dawn and uh, she got me started and uh, yeah, we worked worked on it and turned things around. Ann comes barging into my office <laughs> and she basically says, you know, HTF are these young people doing it. We got all of these, you know, 20, 21, 22, 23, and they're, they're getting to places and beyond me I've been in the game for four decades and I got people that haven't been here a few years and they're catching me and passing me up. What in the world is going on? I mean, that was the essence of what you said to her. Um, she just said, you know, they are fearless, Anne. They're not letting things get in their way. They're, first of all, they're charging what they're worth. They're not afraid yep. to charge menu price. They, they, they stay away from, uh, you know, friendly discounts, that kinds of things. You put together this beautiful letter yep. to your guest kind of announcing that you're going to make this major pivot. And I think that the, the, the guest that you sent it to, was it your haircut only? Right. Yeah. Well, it just really told them how I was so grateful for their business and for their, you know, them being able to help me along the way, but because of this time in my life, changing things and changing my hours, I needed to focus on my color. You, you let them know that this was a, a, a major change for you, and you were with Grace saying that you're just not going to be available for cl clients that just really are not interested beyond a haircut. You were able in, to, in a very short period of time to kind of re-morph your clientele so that you were getting way more traction on your action. Right, yes. And yep. then a couple of other things, Ann, that you immediately, your average ticket it immediately blew up. Immediately. <laughs> so, then, uh, yeah. So for years yeah. and years and years and years, you were at kind of a high, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, a high uh, uh, two digit, double digit ticket, you know, 80 bucks, $90. And all of a sudden that you cracked into triple digits, 115, 120. Um, and then you also had your best yet month. Yep. Mm-hmm. I would just say to break break away from that fear and just think positively. They they will your customers will still love you, <laughs> and um, it will it'll just be so much more rewarding in the end. And so you know, make those opportunities. Um, uh, don't become complacent, you know, just think beyond and, you know, know that there's so much more out there for you.